Hello, and happy Tuesday to you. Oh, it's a very, very cold day here in Kentucky. I am in my big oversized Kentucky sweatshirt. I think it's like 16 degrees or 19 degrees outside or something like that. Um, so today, um, I hope you're staying in and staying warm. Or maybe it's not even cold where you are. That would be even better. Anyway, um, so what I'm doing today is I have a few dupes, and these are actual, um, what I'm calling color dupes. Now, I am not saying that these are exact, I'm saying they are similar enough that I would count them as a good replacement. Um, so I have some non-cruelty-free items, and they're the things that I have found uh, to replace them, obviously, this is a, a dupe or replacements video, so go ahead and get started here. First thing I have is Bare Minerals High Shine Ice. Now, of course, I've said this several times, this I depotted. They come in a tube, and it has a spring-loaded mechanism and a sponge tip applicator, um, but I depotted them because I didn't like it. But this is High Shine Ice, and it's just, let me see if I can get that in the light. Um, it's just a good champagne color. Let me go ahead and that. And see that? And I use that around the tear duct. Sometimes I use it over over the entire lid, but most of the time it's a tear duct color, highlight color. And the thing I have as I'm playing with it, this is the Wet n Wild Idolize, and the color is Pixie. As you can see, not a similar packaging, but the color, as you can see, is very similar. This, in reality, is a touch more golden, uh, not a lot to worry about. So, there's that. The next thing I have, my very favorite of the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains is Honey. Go ahead and swatch that. And it's just your lips, a little glossy, not a whole, no shimmer or anything, and it's the one that I've used the most. And it's also the one that I was thinking when I went cruelty-free, man, how am I going to replace that? I have. This is Sweet. It's a Tarte Lip Surgeons. It is very, very similar. There is a teeny tiny bit of shimmer. It doesn't really show up. And as you can tell, it is a little more pink and the honey is a little more dark. But on the lips, they are almost the same in my opinion. The next thing I have is the Maybelline, Col Maybelline. Maybelline Color Tattoo in Edgy Emerald. This one was difficult for me because this one is a very, it's not just green, it's like iridescent green. Let's see if I can get that to show up well. And it's, so it's not just a green, it's iridescent. It's beautiful, but Maybelline Animal Tests. And so, you know, when I use this up or it dries up, it's history and I want something in my collection because I really love taking this um, type of color and a gold, like Milani Drench and Gold Baked Eyeshadow over top. It takes the crazy out of the green because most of the time that's not the most wearable thing and it just makes it a beautiful kind of a greenish gold and it's much more wearable and so that's what I do. So what I have discovered in my collection to use instead, this is another one of the Idolize from Wet n Wild and this is an Envy. And this one, it's a little more jade than emerald, but it does, in reality it does have kind of that iridescent quality kind of like the edgy emerald does so when I put them on it's not enough of a shade difference that I wouldn't consider it a dupe. Now the last thing I have is a Bare Minerals Duo. This is in the grand finale and it's just a gold and a blue and I'll go ahead and swatch those so you can see, it's a gold and a blue. Um, now, I really like these. I have some friends that actually have a lot of trouble with these. Um, 
and they they either blend it and somehow it turns green because of course blue and yellow make green. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why they don't like them. When I use them, I do use it um, as a, a lid and a crease color. Uh, a lot of times I use this as eyeliner. But when it's gone, I'm not going to rush out and buy this again because obviously Bare Minerals is not cruelty free. And it's something that I do enjoy when I get in that mood. And I don't really have a whole lot of color similar to that. Or so I thought. This is the Wet n Wild Trio and I've Got Good Jeans. Or I Got Good Jeans. And so we have ourselves a blue. And I'm going to do that kind of above. And it's a touch darker, but really not a lot different. And then the gold. The gold is a little more yellowy, but still... In my opinion, these are all good dupes for each other. So, if you are looking for the this grand finale, I recommend playing with I Got Good Jeans first. Because this blue is a little hard to handle. And until you get used to it, sometimes it does cause a problem. But this is like $3. And this is like $20. So... Yeah, I definitely recommend. And all of the dupes that I figured out for these things, with the exception of the Tarte, are less expensive than the originals. So, and most of them are drugstore. I think everything I found was a drugstore dupe for these other shades. So, that... And I'm, I'm hoping to find more, but these were things in my collection that I was loving, but... Of course, not being cruelty free, I was having a little trouble. You know, I wanted something to replace them. So, what I normally do in that case is whatever the thing is that's being that's replacing it goes into what I call my stash. And then when I use this up, when I use something up, I tend to go to my stash to see if I have anything to replace it. I don't like to use up the stash thing. So, anyway. So, those are some dupes, and I hope that you found that useful, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.